hey, on the front door. Oh. Congo, Congo, one time, groove, groove, one time, hey, Kushin Kwari, one time, hey, Huko Loko, number one, when you wire, but I'm not the yapping, no rewind. I'm the fuck in your minute, it's a reminder. Had to play for the team, team, I play for Afro Mabona, it's a reminder, I'm your remainder, hey, Michabuli Savaning, and Groovy Savaning, and now it was, hey, hey, Hemzala was, Groove was. Suma, Suma, Bagama, Bagama, hey. It's the time for the celebration. Stand in love, spill life. What's up, everybody? And welcome to another edition of Mamko Josie. My name is Chantal Thomas, Ushazwama Shemshwam, your host for the night. Today we are speaking to Nyani, so a friend of mine, a businessman. Get it? He's a choreographer. He's featured in movies in South Africa. He's an entertainer. He's the one and only. Actor of the actors of the actors. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoy the show. Tonight, we're going to talk about feelings. Hello, world. Hello, uh, Mom Go Josie. Season two, um, and hello to my host Chantel Thomas. My name is Nyanis Sonzegela Lodzete, but in the industry I just go by Nyanis Lodzete. I am a South African actor, performer, stage, film, television actor. Um, I've been doing this professionally since the last stretch of my university journey, which was around about 2008 till now. Um, that makes it how many years? Um, I'm scared to do the math and get it wrong. Then you guys think, oh, he bad at math. Um... But I would, I would, I would do the math, guys. I'll do the math. So 2010, 2020, 12 years, 12 years a professional actor performer. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy to be doing this. I'm so happy to be speaking back to, to this, because, well, we are in a beautiful time in the world. It can be seen as difficult and painful and a mess of a time. And get that viewpoint as well um, and I've seen the world as it stands right now in that way as well it's a beautiful thing to be attuned to your dreams to be attuned to your calling to be attuned to what it is that you have to give to the world because you can use those very things as a platform and as a voice to speak back to the pain of the world so having said all of that um, This is what I do. Hello, South Africa and the rest of the world. Welcome to another edition of Mam Gojozi. My name is Chantal Thomas. Today we are talking to Nyaniso Zedze. Nyaniso, can you tell us everything about what you have learned thus far as an actor and tell us what other skills do you have that we do not know about? I've learned that having a platform means... Um, having a voice and having an opportunity to influence the world for the better. And I've also learned that um, just because people have their own expectations and their own um, perceptions of you and how they see you does not mean that I must um, lose sight of who I am. Um, and what I want to be in the world. I've learned to, to it's, if anything, being in the position that I'm at, it is to, to always, to always, in the light of whatever the world sees and expects from me, to know who I am and what I want to do in the world. Um... And this is a beautiful thing. Look, as 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 a human being, right? Everything that comes as a um, 
a natural gift to you i find in one way or another it, it always along the way serves you it 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 comes to your aid even um it, sort of to add to whatever it is the main journey is the main goal is and i found this out by um my own journey so in high school i <laughs> i became a cheerleader um and and like that means yes with pom-poms and tight tight outfits and stuff like that and cheering for sports sports games and stuff but we also did like some acrobatic cheerleading some um like learning how to do stunts and lift up girls and stuff like that and because of that i um I was in a team, my high school team, that um, that needed an, an acrobat that needed to know how to do backflips and stuff like that. And so because I've always liked that stuff, I, I chose to learn it when I was 17 years old. And um, ever since then, it's just become something that I like to express myself through, like doing backflips and flip flats and running around and jumping about and stuff like that. Um, and oh, how old was I? I was about 25 when I auditioned for Hear Me Move, um, the dance movie, which you may or may not have heard of. Um, it's it's South Africa's first dance film, um, and and they said, "Cool, can we see you dance?" And I did some dancing, did some hip hop, and then at the end of my hip hop routine, I ran across the floor and I did some flip flats and back flips and shit, and because of that they gave me an edge above everybody else and that's how pretty much i landed the role of muzi which is the lead which was such a beautiful blessing as as the first time on on screen i think it was the first time okay i did some zanzi magic stuff before that i think um that 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 served that skill knowing how to flick flat served me getting further in my career um, and and singing also has has helped me along my career as well. I've landed a few musicals in my journey um, because I could sing and act. Now I could sing and act and dance and do acrobatics. And so it like those skills and learning that stuff gave me an edge above everybody else who who were just singers or just actors or just dancers. Um, and. And that has been a, such a beautiful blessing in my life. And I'm not saying to the world or anybody that you need to be um, and learn the skills that I've learned. There are skills that are out there that you can learn for yourself, like learning how to play an instrument. Um, I, I know that I missed some roles because they were like, we need to have an actor that knows how to play a guitar. And I was like, goddamn. So um, whatever you feel drawn to, um, that will be a skill that you acquire. So follow whatever it is that you're drawn to. And you don't need to force yourself to do something you don't like. Nah. Um, follow what you're drawn to. And that's how you accumulate and build skills. Wow, you learn something new every single day. Who would have known that Nyani Sotzeze was once in a cheerleading team? And congratulations, actually, on your Hear Me Move audition. I mean, it must have been absolutely fantastic. Nyani, so can you tell us what people don't know about the industry? And can you tell us a little bit about what, what you think makes a great actor? What, in your opinion, is a great actor? A lot of, a lot of people want to get famous and they think once i get famous everything's going to be good there are a lot of famous people um that you know that have gotten to the top and then either at the end of their career shown that um there was so much more that they still needed to do in the world that um I feel like I'm going to talk myself in a loop about this one. But basically, once you get there, it's never it's never just the answer. You'll find that you'll still struggle. You'll find that you still need to work. You'll find that you, you, you can still get famous. And then all of a sudden, no work comes in. No money comes in. And, and you're just a known face or a known name. And you have a bunch of bills. And you still need to eat 
So once you get there, it doesn't get necessarily easier. It comes with advantages, but it doesn't get easier. Um, it, 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 it comes with its own challenges um, of now you are competing at a different level pretty much so once you get famous you need to learn how to work in a different way hustle in a different way grind in a different way um, and how I've navigated that is once again listen to what I'm drawn to listen to my calling listen to what I'm called to um, and within my platform what I like will still send me in the direction of what it is that I need to do um, what I like will send me in the direction of what it is that I want to achieve, of the kind of roles that I want to land. Um, and, and knowing that I will still need to work for it. It won't be handed to me on a platter. Oh yeah, what I also wanted to say about this is have dreams that go beyond being famous. Like being famous and being the limelight or landing that one job isn't enough. Like what's your dream when you get beyond that? What's your dream that is beyond the current goal? What do you want to achieve so that you keep getting driven towards something that keeps growing you? And how do you then use that platform of being famous, of getting that role to, to further you, to take you to the next level? I think about all my favorite great actors. Two things. A great actor is a person that has achieved and gotten to a place that impacts the world and has left a footprint that changes how people look at the game. That's a great actor. Um, is a person that has pushed himself beyond just fitting in um, and just becoming one of the actors but a person that has challenged the status quo um, and explored something that leaves a, a mark that is uniquely theirs and some of these marks are like marks that everyone ad ad like agrees to and goes, damn, Al Pacino like will never be matched. Um, you know, Johnny Depp has done something in the industry and in how he approaches actors and um, characters that will never be matched. And that's beautiful. We want that kind of footprint that, that then challenges the rest of the world and the rest of the industry to um, step up their game, explore their own unique footprints. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, 12 years of experience telling you not to just be an actor in the space, not to just be a body in the space, but instead to come with all your skills if you want ultimate success. Thank you so much for that, Nyani. So, so can you tell us about your most memorable moments on set and what's next for Nyani Sotete? Memorable show, memorable moment. I think every, every show that I've been a part of has 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 a memorable footprint of its own but for me a memorable show that I guess leaves the biggest footprint for me is the one that arced and etched the beginning of my career which was when I was a third year varsity student um, a show called Thirst um, which was uh, first put up at the Market Theatre and that was directed by um, my senior and a great mentor to myself and many others, James Noble. Um, and um, that show's memorable to me 
because I learned so much and I traveled to one of my favorite countries in the world which is England the UK and um, it's also the country where um, my wife's family is from and where I met my wife um, and so that that show really just keeps it keeps coming back and looping in my life and affecting me in, in, in ways that allows me to keep growing. Like in 2008 when I did that show was my first professional debut. Adrian Sichel wrote about me in the Star magazine um, as an actor to watch out for. And then in 2012, four years later, that same show toured me to the UK and that's when I met my wife um, and still today it has given me a place to have a healthy relationship with people that I worked with back then at the market theatre and because of that it's opened up the door for me to keep coming back to the market theatre every once in a while to, um, to offer my artistic flair and my gifts to that space I have dreams I have spaces and areas in my life that I want to uh, venture into artistically. Nothing is for certain. And that's why I say to everybody, just listen to your spirit. Just listen to God. Listen to your gifts. Listen to your calling. Um, and that will guide you to what's next well. But for me, I... I I want to I want to tell my own stories. I'm not a writer, but I I I have stories that I want to tell and I have my own unique ways that I want to tell them using my skills, the skill set that I have. Um, and inshallah, God willing, that's going to happen soon. Um, but I'm definitely gonna keep acting, keep telling other people's stories. I wanna, I wanna see myself on international platforms more, um, stage, television, and film. And the more I dedicate myself to my growth, and my expansion, and what God has in store for me to learn and grow through, then I, I kind of feel like it's gonna happen. Thank you so much for that, Nyani. So, so in closing, can you tell us about advice that you have for anyone who wants to give up at a time when their doors are closing, who wants to give up when everything looks dark? Giving up when doors close. Um, what message do I have to people that, that um, feel like giving up when doors close, when opportunities like... Are, are denied you. One, how I understand those moments is one, I was not ready for it. Two, it was meant for somebody else. It was meant for somebody else. Um, and also three, it, there is another door that is waiting to open for me. Sometimes it's all three of those. Sometimes it's just one of those. And I just need to learn and grow through something. Sometimes I just need to allow some things that aren't mine to belong to somebody else. Um, and, and sometimes um, I need to understand that God is guiding me elsewhere. Um, and if you want to give up when opportunities are closed to you, then it's an opportunity for you to ask yourself, is this truly what you want? Truly. Is this truly what you, you're called to? Do you just want to do this thing, whether it's acting or whatever else that it is in the industry or the world, uh, in existence, in life, whatever it is that you're doing and, and the doors close to you and you feel like giving up, it's an opportunity to ask yourself, is this really what you want to do? What else could you possibly do? What else could you possibly see yourself doing? And I, I often go into that question very open-heartedly, no matter how difficult or painful it is. I go into that question and um, 
when I ask myself what it is that I imagine myself doing, I'm like, I can't see myself doing anything else. And when, when that realization dawns on me, I go, okay, cool. This is obviously a place for me to learn something and grow through something and to stick with it. When you can't see yourself doing anything else than what, than, than what it is that you're failing at, then ask God to show you what it is that you need to grow through and learn in order for you to get it, in order for you to succeed at it. And if you do see yourself doing something else, and it's a possibility, it doesn't mean you're, you're shit, it doesn't mean that you're a failure in life, it just means, hey, maybe there's this other thing that God has called me to do that I'm not paying attention to. Maybe let me go do that. Go do that. And whatever you fail at is what you fail at. Just learn and pick up the lessons and move on. Move on with the journey. There's nothing wrong with realization. Realizing something's not for you. Like I said, I wanted to be Michael Jackson. I realized I couldn't be Michael Jackson. I wanted to be a singer. And I was I was failing at singing in many ways. And um and then I ask God, what is it that you want me to do? What else could I possibly see myself doing? And then, like, when I thought about it, acting was like, oh, I was like, yeah, actually, I do love doing that shit. So I failed that shit and, and left it and put it down, too. Um, or rather, focused elsewhere. But it still stays with me. So if it still stays with me, okay, cool. We'll leave it in the background until it shows itself and it surfaces, um, resurfaces for you. Well, that marks the end of our show here at Mam Gojozi. My name is Chantal Thomas. And on our show today, we had Nyaniso Zedze talking everything, industry, acting, skills, and mindset. Thank you so much, Nyaniso, for joining us today on our show. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it from me. See you next week, Tuesday on Mam Gojozi. Stay prayed up. Away. A shout out to my family, to my friends, the people around me that love and care for me. Those are all people that have etched and influenced and supported and um, have been fuel for my growth. And um, a shout out to my host again. Um, thank you very much for having me. Um, yeah, Mom Go Josie. Thank you, Chantal. Um, the birds are out. That's a sign we should end this video. Yay! Wherever you're at in the world, man, stay, stay inspired. Stay listening to God. Stay listening to your spirit. Um, and keep asking the questions of where is it that I'm guided to grow? And where is it that I'm guided to go into? Peace. Out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that marks the end of our show today with Nyani. So thank you so much, sir, for giving us your time. Other than that, we'll see you guys next week, Tuesday, same time, same place, for another edition of Mamka Josie, where we talk to another interesting person. Hey, DJ Maggie. Ciao. It's the blood. Life's time, I'm a tegani. Best life, I'm a tender kid. If it is a mago crew for more, hey, my pillars tell you till the more, hey, my kids and fun as sing a more, hey, chill as no more cool of books, hey, shoot after shoot, pop on my pullilla, hey, I think pity and I just tell you, hey, Dana Zia want to know, Mr. Bantana, he pities a mago cheese.